Hey guys, talked a whole lot about catch play, and at the end of the day, um, it really boils down, I think, to, to one thing, and that's the will and the desire to want to win and, and be the best, be the best on the field. And the the best athletes out there, a lot of times, are the best competitors. You can look at Tom Brady, Jordan, Phelps. You know, I mean, you look at Tiger Woods. You look at the best of the best. Their desire and will to win is off the charts. Um, but what we notice as coaches, as scouts, is it starts in our warm-up routine. And now as soon as we grip this baseball, we've, we've got a choice. We're either going to make a good throw or a bad throw. And by good and bad, I don't mean did we hit our target or did we miss. That's not good and bad for me. What's good and bad for me is did I have a good focused effort on my throw or was I not paying attention and not have any kind of a, a good throw and now I wasted an opportunity to try to get myself better and with every single ball you pick up with every bat you swing you've got a you've got an option you, you're gonna either improve or you're gonna regress most of the times and as long as we can take a little from each one and, and use that for our improvements for our games we're gonna be in pretty good shape uh, Ryan what what as far as the compete side of it well, what you used to think of on the mound? Like, what was something that you thought, you know what, competitive mindset, what was your thought? Yeah, I think just being able to compete was being able to compete when I didn't have my best stuff. It really was. Just even if, you know, it came from catch play, um, and then it would jump onto the mound, and just being able to compete in moments where I didn't have my best stuff. And, and that was the, that was where I would be able to find myself being the best, um, was being able to compete when, my fastball wasn't necessarily moving a ton like it usually does. Um, still being able to compete and execute and hit a spot with that because that's what I, that's what I had to do at that point. Um, or when your breaking ball isn't moving 12, 12 inches like it normally does, it's, it's only breaking a third of that or whatever. And it's being able to find now you have to execute it better. Um, you have to be able to compete with it better when it's not at, at its best. And I think it all goes back to catch plays we talk about in, in these videos is, is being able to just execute everything and feel good with everything. Um, even though it might not be the best that day, um, you still gotta be able to focus up and have a great mentality and, and do what you need to do to be able to put together a win for your team and, and execute a pitch or execute a good AB or, or go on the field and, and get a ground ball and execute it across the diamond or, or throw a guy out or, or there's multiple things um, that we could sit here and talk about for forever. So. Yeah, yeah, that's no joke. Um, yes, I mean, at the end of the day, man, I mean, the, the, the guy that wants to win the, the most, oftentimes, will find a way, yeah. will oftentimes find a way. So, guys, appreciate the time again. Anything we can do to ever help, don't hesitate to reach out.